we're making this video to talk about life and the wisdom that a father can impart to his son. What does that have to do with kids. the video? Is this supposed to go viral? Uh, it probably won't go viral. This it's supposed to be it's an experiment. Uh, it's a test run to um, make a record of the things that I have learned in life and to pass it along to the next generation. Because, to leave um, your legacy? To leave a legacy uh, is one way to say it. And uh, one of the things I realized in my work with Asian Americans, uh, particularly the last 10 years uh, with L Squared Foundation, which has a vision to develop the leadership and legacy of Asian Americans, that it was a, a phenomenal vision, a really winsome vision, but it was uh, also a very large vision that was not easiest thing to bring people on board and to get them uh, participating that it was uh, on the one hand it was something that people wanted that um, yeah it would be great to have uh, more leadership skill and capacity developed uh, but the word legacy was a stumbling block to uh, the people who were at a stage of life that they've already had financial success and they've already had independence but the word legacy seemed to connote uh, too much pride and discomfort for uh, some of the people that we uh, interfaced with and uh, grew to build some relationships with. And so it was um, uh, challenging. I don't know how else to describe it at the moment. Uh, but in terms of developing the next generation of Asian American leaders, uh, a couple things come to mind. One is that uh, not just Asian Americans, but people who are just normal people, they, uh, the first thing that comes to their mind is not so much that, oh, I want to be a leader. Uh, it's not a, it's more of a daunting task. And we don't feel worthy and we don't feel qualified and we don't know enough and we don't have enough confidence to be a leader. And so it's not an attractive comp proposition for people. And uh, secondly, even for those who uh, have had a track record of accomplishments and our leadership positions. Uh, they don't, uh, many of them don't feel they're qualified to be a mentor uh, to others. And yet on the younger side of things, those who are aspiring uh, and realize that they have this responsibility or this calling to be a leader, that uh, the number one need across the board for next generation leaders is to find or to have a role model. And across the board, that's the number one need. And the fact of the matter is, the reality is, there, there aren't enough role models or the role models were inaccessible. Uh, all of the above. That maybe some of this conversation can be a role model for other Asian Americans in particular. Um, it's to say that it's not to say that we don't have leaders uh, in the Asian American mix. I think we do. Just that the kind of leadership that they exemplify and the way they accomplish it uh, isn't quite connecting for the next generation of leaders who want to be better leaders. Uh, they don't have those role models and they could use a few more. And so um, that's part of the reason that I want to be making a record of my conversations and things that I've learned in my life, not that I've achieved anything super great, at least that's my own perception, but um, by just sharing my life, by being honest, by passing that along, instead of relying on oral tradition where I just talk to people face to face or in person, that this recording can be just as real because it's it's uh, it's my real life con conveying my real experience uh, though it's recorded in video and audio it can still uh, make a big difference in someone's life if they hear that someone who's uh, just a normal person an average Joe like me I'm not a superstar I'm not driven I'm not uh, super gifted with talent where I can just be will have the willpower and the discipline to become uh, what a 
famous, yeah, rich, yeah, celebrated person in our world esteemed culture. You know, the people that are the champions of French Open or on the big stage for being a great musician and winning the prizes and accolades. Um, it's, it's a good thing for people to really have excellence and to be very accomplished, but it's a very small percentage of us who, who can get there. You know, less than 1% can be the best. And um, uh, in any group of people, the only one person can be the best. Um, and it's not fair to say that oh, all of us can, are great at something. Uh, maybe we're just okay at something. And I want to convey the message that it's okay to be okay. You know, be the best okay that you can be. Uh, and that's not to say that we settle for mediocrity. But it is to say that your life matters, and you can make a difference, and you want to use your energy, and your skills, and your um, life to make a contribution, make a difference in the world. So that's that's why I'm motivated to capture some of my messages uh, just in the raw everyday honest conversation without the fancy lights and uh, the set and the uh, editing and the production to make it look slick but hey this is this is just me talking and I want to say that your life matters uh, as an Asian American that it doesn't need to be an identity crisis that there doesn't need to be shame to share uh, your successes and your failures, to not have it all together, to, uh, not, to not live under the pressure of performance and expectation, but that uh, your life matters and uh, I believe in you. So that's the prelude, that's the um, setup for why I'm making videos like this and having this recording pass along some of my life experience and hope in hopes of that passing along some of my life experiences in hope that it would be helpful to other people because I have struggled in my life for being Asian American for being Chinese American growing up in a traditional Chinese home in the midst of a mainstream culture of 